What's up guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we got a new type of video on the channel, one where I go through the latest Trove patch notes and pull specific sections of the patch notes that I think are worth mentioning. I'll try to include footage of the new content whenever I'm able to, however, the main point of this video is mostly just to give you guys a surface level rundown of the update. I've wanted to do a video like this ever since I started making Trove videos, but there hasn't been any large updates to cover in a video until now. Some of this stuff has been in the public test server for a little while now, and is finally coming to the live server. Anyways, to get started, the update is around 400 megabytes and is called the Tune-Up Update, likely named after the music theme that the new Bard class has and is currently only being released for PC. Also, yes, Trove is actually getting a new class. This is kind of a big deal since I'm pretty sure the last time we got a new class was back in early 2018, so I'm super excited that the devs decided to make a new class. Unfortunately, I personally haven't used the new class since I don't actually play on the public test server, but I have watched plenty of gameplay that other Trove YouTubers have put out there, and I gotta say, the Bard looks really fun to play. The whole purpose of the Bard is to use different abilities to buff your character in multiple ways. The class definitely seems like it's hard to pick up at first, but as you use it more often, you'll probably get used to the more advanced mechanics. I will warn you though, the Bard is insanely difficult to craft, so keep that in mind if you have any interest in playing the class. All in all, it kind of reminds me of the Hunting Horn from Monster Hunter since your whole goal is to deal damage while applying buffs to yourself and allies. Like I said, I haven't used the class myself so I can't really provide any footage, but I can tell you that you should be able to find quite a bit of gameplay by searching on YouTube for Bard Trove gameplay. Also in the patch notes, which are linked in the description, there's a Bard FAQ that explains the class a bit more in depth. Moving on to the next part of the patch, there has been a new mount added to delves in a new delve biome. Smoky delves can appear after the first shadowy soul vault and as expected are supposedly delves that are full of smoke. Who'd have guessed? This mount presumably drops from enemies in these smoky delves, however the patch notes vaguely just say to look for Dehade, which doesn't really clarify exactly how to get the mount. There are also some store updates because of the addition of the new class. A new Bard pack contains the Bard class along with some wings and costumes for the Bard, as well as two additional allies. There's also a larger Bard pack, the Bard Super Pack, that has more costumes as well as some credits. It's also important to note that the Sweet 16 pack, the pack that gives you all the classes in Trove, mentions that it does not give you the Bard class, which is kind of disappointing, but oh well. Lastly, for the additional updates section, there's a couple interesting bonus changes in the update. Crystallology Crafting now has a new tier called the Bardman Collegist. This tier is unlocked at 300 skill and lets you craft new allies and some cosmetics, including a few costumes for the Bard. Bardium is a new ore added to the Geode Caves. can only be found in tier 5 and is used to craft the Bard class, as well as the cosmetics in the Bardman Collegist Crafting tier. And lastly, for the additional updates that seem important, Cube Thulu Corners, which I've never even heard of before, are now more common at depths 162 plus in private and public delves. I honestly have no idea what that means, but I figured I'd mention it in case anyone is in super endgame and is going to depths that deep. There's a few things I skipped from the patch notes since they didn't seem too relevant to me personally, but if you want to check out the patch in more detail, I've linked it down below in the description of the video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy, and especially let me know what you guys think of this style of video in the comments. If you guys want me to do more of these patch notes overviews, let me know, as I'd be happy to make more videos like this for every important Trove update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.